Number 53, letter A. Students in the physics lab are asked to find the length of an air column in a tube closed at one end that has a fundamental frequency of 256 hertz. Uh, they hold the tube vertically and fill it with water at the top, then lower the water while a 256 hertz tuning fork is rung and listen to the first resonance. What is the air temperature if the resonance occurs for a uh, length of 0.336 meter uh, tube? Okay. So uh, basically, all all we have to do here is uh, they tell us the fundamental frequency. All right, so the frequency of the first harmonic is going to be 256 hertz. All right, that means the n value is one. Okay, and take check out number 42. I talk about some general concepts here for these problems. Um, and it also tells us now that the length of the tube here is going to be 0 0.336 meters. And they're asking us for the air temperature. All right, well, let's just put that aside for a second. They tell us also that the tube is open at one end, or which would mean that it's closed at one end, um, meaning the other end, right? And we have the formula here. It says that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to uh, the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of the uh, sound through that particular medium. In this case, it's air divided by 4L. All right, and then can take on these odd values, 1, 3, 5, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, the first resonance correlates with the first harmonic. Okay, so all I need to do, so basically given the information I know, I can solve for the velocity, right, of the air. So why don't we do that? So let's plug in 256, n is 1, Vw, all over 4 times that length of 0.336. Vw, so simply just cross multiply, right? So it's basically uh, 256 multiplied by 4 times 0.336. And it's going to be about 344, so 344 meters per second. That's the velocity. Then you have to ask yourself, well, okay, I found the velocity. How can I now relate that to air temperature? Well, remember, we have that formula, right, that the velocity of the air at a particular temperature will be equal to 331. This is for air, right? That's basically the speed of air at zero, uh, speed of sound through air at zero degrees Celsius, multiplied now by the Kelvin temperature divided by 273. So all I now really need to do is solve for the T, okay? When I plug in now, 344, 344 is equal to then 331 times then the square root of T over 273, 273. Divide out the 331 first, right? So it's 344, blah, 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 over 331. And that works out to be about 1.039. So 1.039 is equal to then square root of T over 273, you know you got to square both sides now, right, to get rid of the radical. So square that value, so it works out to be about 1.08. That's T over 273, and now simply do the cross multiplication. So I realize the temperature in Kelvin is going to be 294, or aka 295, all right? And that's in terms of Kelvin. So that's the temperature. If you need it in Celsius, subtract 273 from it, all right? Um, and then letter B, it says, at what length will they observe the second resonance? aka the first overtone. So now, the second resonance here correlates with a with the third harmonic. This is the first resonance, that's the second, this is the third, etc, etc, etc. It skips basically the second harmonic when you have a tube uh, closed at one end. So really what they're asking us in letter B, and I'm going to put it on over on the left hand side, really what they're asking us is they're asking us to find uh, the length that they will observe uh, for the second resonance, right? So in other words, what we have to do now is we have to plug in the values that we know, okay? And we're dealing with the same formula. So why don't we start with that first, right? The, the frequency of, uh, what do you call it? The frequency of uh, harmonic n is equal to the nth harmonic multiplied now by the velocity of the sound through that particular meaning multi uh, divided by four times the length, right? So the, fr the frequency now, so we have to ask ourselves this question, uh, what harmonic are we calculating? Well, they want the second resonance, but the second resonance correlates with the third harmonic there, right? So the N is going to be three. Okay, so now what do we realize will be the frequency here? Well, what do you think? We're still using a 256 hertz tuning fork, right? So that's the frequency. So 256. Okay. 
Now, multiply that by then the speed of the uh, sound, right? Which is 344. That's not changing, okay? Because it's constant air temperature. Then divide it now by 4 times L. And now solve this thing for L. So all you got to really do, right, to solve this for L is just simply move that out of the denominator on over to the uh, left, that into the denominator. Now it looks like 4,256, but it's not, right? Four times that, and that's it. So we're going to do 3 uh, multiplied by 344 divided then by 4 times 256. And now the length here is about 1, 1.01 1 or so, 1.01 .01 meters. And that should make sense. All right. So hopefully that works. All right, guys. So thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.